Welcome to this edition of DIY3DTech.com. In this episode, we're going to be following up um, unboxing part two of the 3040 CNC. So, uh, uh, actually, took a little time out to clean out the probiotics, take it apart, pack it up. I'm going to sell it on eBay. Um, anyway, so here's the second box. This second box is uh, uh, obviously not as large as the first, and not 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 as heavy. It's probably about 30 pounds, 25, 30 pounds. Uh, and, and I'm assuming contains the fourth access and the electronics. Oh, don't worry about the, the maker band-aids. I guess the show has to go on. So uh, taking the uh, probiotic apart, it was uh, bit me a little bit. But eh, that's what happens when you're a maker, right? So uh, I want to open this up. And again, a lot of nice foam in top. Wow. Ooh. Ah. So let's take this open. And uh, we can see right off the bat we have some instructions and uh, some sort of DVD. I'm betting you that's probably the bootleg Mach 3. That's what they claim comes with this. Um, because this is a parallel port machine. So uh, take that out. Now, one of the things that this does is this comes, and I'll show it a little bit more, with a fourth access, which I think is really, really cool. Um, do I have a lot of use for it? No, and I'm actually still trying to figure out what to use it for. So if you have any ideas, hit me up below. I, I, I do, I guess, you know, joking aside, have a few ideas. Um, I, however, I really like the idea of, of playing with, um, you, you know, three-dimensional objects on a CNC machine. You know, the, the um, <clears throat> one piece, if I flip this around, it does have a three-jaw chuck and not a four-jaw I, I guess I could probably adapt this to a four jaw chuck to do a piece of square material, and that's what I might do in the future too. And I think that could get a little bit more interesting and probably useful if I can do, um, uh, you know, square piece of stock versus a round piece of stock. So I'm going to set this, this aside for a minute. Um, there's another box in here. Now the uh, the interesting thing is the uh, that I just realized is the 3040 came with the steppers attached already. A lot of the unboxings that I, I remember seeing, they had to attach the steppers. So I am a little bit interested in what's in this box. Because uh, it can't be the steppers. Ooh, ah. So we have cables, um, the infamous parallel port cable. Uh, and we have some other kind of, um, oh, it's a fourth axis cable, sorry. Um, it's for the fourth axis, so it's got the aircraft connector at the end, and then obviously this connects into the uh, stepper motor, so that's what that is. Uh, what else do we have in here? We have power cord. Actually, quite a few things in here. So we have the tailstock for the fourth axis, very light. Uh, I don't even think this is aluminum. I think it's some kind of, as I refer to it, as a white metal. Um, it's that light. Almost feels like plastic, but it's not. Um, in, in, in interesting look at the, the base. I'm not sure how these actually mount to the table. I guess I'll have to figure that one out. Um, whoa, whoa, she, she, I have no idea. Let's see what's in here. I don't know. It looks like some kind of Teflon tape. What you need that for? Oh, it might be for the water, but why would you need that? It's got pressure fit fittings for the water couplers. Um, ooh, nice. Um, it looks like maybe I lied. I thought, um, I think in the last video I said it comes with a one eighth. That, that, that's a quarter inch, quarter inch uh, chuck on the CNC, so um, I'll have to make a note on that. And they're kind of nice and it looks like they give you an extra fuse and some chucks, or, or not chucks, bits, sorry. Um, that's interesting. A uh, bunch of stuff in here. I have no idea what this could be. So let's cut it open. Ah, well, I was asking how it mounts, and it looks like, well, ah, these are clamps. So, uh, actually, you get a nice set of matching clamps with this. This is rather interesting. And uh, kids don't do what I just did at home. Um, 
I think you can see that. And so obviously what happens is that the fourth axis and tailstock uh, gets clamped flush to the, uh, the bed utilizing these and you can probably do your other work material. This is a nice little touch. It's got wing nuts, bolts that slide in. Uh, and there's quite a few of them here, uh, actually. Let me get this plastic wrap off. Um, so, and it's got two wrenches. Um, but this is nice. Some Allen wrenches and a bunch of the clamps. So I, I like that. That's, that's a nice little surprise. Uh, and then what else? I'm assuming that this is the infamous Chinese water pump that I see so many times with lasers. Yep. For the... Uh, uh, water cooler, and I'm assuming this stuff is for the chuck, is what it looks like, yep, it's got, uh, you know, um, because those are inside, these are outside, however you want to phrase it in machinist terms, chucks, uh, you know, to chuck, you know, going this way or going this way, and then it's got the, the chuck wrench for the fourth access, and that's it for that box. Um... Now, for the interesting piece, oh, <clears throat> I'm going to throw this box on the floor. I might bump you, or I might throw it over here, so, so here is the, the control unit. So here's the control unit. Um, we have the emergency stop, we have the power, we have the manual speeder PC control. Now this could be interesting because, um, I think this has a uh, pulse width modulation or the ability for that to control the spindle. So I, I like this that you can do it both manually or you can have control of the PC. Now this is just a positional switch. So it's not, doesn't seem to um, alter anything uh, outside of this. Uh, there is a knob here and I'm assuming that this is some sort of speed control. It's rather uh, kind of hokey or loose, if you will. And then it's got several controls, function, run, stop. So I think, it, obviously, this is all spindle control and, and speed. Uh, so I think that's all controlled from here. So that's pretty cool, actually. Uh, now, one of the things, as I mentioned, and let's take, let's take a little bit closer look at the back. So we have the... Uh, I, you have to love how they love... how the Chinese spell some things. Um, Pericolal Perico port or Spandle PW. Uh, man, that's interesting. Well, they got fan right and they sort of got output and AC input correct. So you have your, um, you know, your spindle, your A, which is your fourth axis, and then your typical other three dimensions, uh, X, Y, and Z. Your parallel port in here and your AC and your cooling fan there. So one of the things that I plan on doing with this actually is uh, adapting it to to garble. So gerbil, garble, gerbil, however you guys like to say it. I, somebody always writes me when I say it a certain way. I I I, I think it's now officially um, gerbil, but uh, I don't know. Small rodents. Anyways, um, so what I'm going to do is. Uh, uh, I may actually, well, once I get this set up and tested, I may actually open this up, and there's probably enough room to mount this in the control board inside, or I may build a case and just uh, place it on top here. I've got a, a parallel port adapter that I built for the Probotic uh, to convert it over to parallel, and I think I'm going to use the same thing here, and then what I'm going to do is just wire in the Mach 3 configuration, the PWM pin, to control the spindle, so I can control all that from, from garble. And then what I'm going to do is uh, 3D print a, a different type of bumper base. This this used to mount on top of the uh, the probiotic uh, electronics, and I'm going to mount it some, some, some either up here or in the box, uh, one or the other. I'll decide later. Uh, but all in all, pretty nice. Now, because it is the uh, the 800 watt unit, it is a variable frequency drive, as I understand it. And uh, again, that's why one of the reasons for this bigger power supply and everything. So, uh, pretty excited to get it all working and, and start experimenting with it. Um, you know, you're seeing this probably a month into the future of when I have it. So, I typically 
you know, shoot these, queue them up because I travel for work. And then that also gives me the ability to do some things and then put them in the queue afterwards um, rather than seeing a little bit more ad hoc. So um, I think pretty much for this video, this will do it. So uh, again, you know, you've gotten to see what comes in the box. I've been pleased for around uh, 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 888 bucks. I was just looking on uh, eBay today. You know, there's some now. For about 848 but there's 40 50 bucks shipping so they're all right around the same price of uh, just a little short of 900 bucks and uh, I you know I think if you're looking for a CNC machine it's worth it uh, I'm a little bit nervous about the spindle um, the spindle and spindle power supply because that's a big portion of the cost of this machine um, that it works and you know and not much of a warranty because just for the spindle itself because again I looked at the open build and I was going to go buy the spindle separately because I really want a DC spindle but a powerful one and that that was running in the 400s just short of five hundred dollars so the way I looked at it for three hundred some dollars I got all the rest of the unit together which I couldn't you know even even come close to with an open build uh, piece so anyways uh, hopefully you find this interesting and if you if you're interested in a 3040 would highly recommend it Hit me up in the comments below if you have questions, because again, by the time you're seeing this, I, I will have been well into it. And so, uh, also coming up on the holiday seasons, maybe you want to buy yourself a gift or somebody else. Um, again, worthwhile. I also have links on the site um, to uh, a, a listing of, of these on eBay. So I've got uh, sort of a, a, a CNC shop on the site, DIY3DTech.com. Please go over there, check it out. Uh, I do make a little bit of a commission, a few points uh, from eBay on each thing sold. And again, it helps me make these videos, buy this stuff, and and uh, do these videos. So anyways, hey, hopefully it helped. Give it a thumbs up, even if it's uh, kind of like a maker band-aid thumbs up. Uh, subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video. Cheers. Please click like below and subscribe to the channel to keep up to date on all of our projects.